when you make up your mind to stay with the breath. Try to be true to that intention. We're looking for the truth, and it's not something that you can just push a button and have it appear on your screen. These are the kind of truths that we're looking for. They require that you be true. You're true in your virtue, you're true in your concentration, and that way you get true discernment. The Buddha placed a lot of emphasis on virtue. It tends to get overlooked here in the West. Everybody goes straight for the meditation. But if you want your concentration to be clear and honest, you've got to be clear and honest in the rest of your life. Because the mind that tends to make up little lies here and there finds it really easy to lie to itself. And then when you get the mind still, it's not the case that you can't get the mind still if you're not virtuous. You can. But what comes out of the mind when it's still, it's not necessarily reliable. So if you want the reliable truth, you have to be a reliable person. This is why this is a training of the entire jitta, as they say in Pali, because the word jitta means not only the mind, but also the heart. We're training the heart. We start with generosity. When the Buddha would introduce the Four Noble Truths, he didn't start with concepts like emptiness or not-self. He started with generosity. And people couldn't absorb that and agree with him that generosity is a really good thing. That's as far as the talk would go. But if they were receptive and saw the virtue of generosity, then he'd move on to virtue. And again, if they didn't see the value of virtue, he'd spend a lot of time explaining virtue and stop there. But if they already saw that virtue was a good thing, something that was worth maintaining, worth being strict with yourself about, then he would move on to the higher teachings. So remember, we're training the whole heart, the whole mind. And for the heart to know the truth, it has to be true. For the mind to know the truth, it has to be true. It's like with a scientific experiment. If you fudge the results, you're not going to get the truth. If you're thinking maybe you're getting famous from your experiment, getting rewarded in some way, then you're going to fudge the results. But if you're there for the truth, you're going to find some interesting things you wouldn't have suspected otherwise. And those unsuspected things, those are the things that are really going to count. So when something comes up unexpected in the mind, you have to ask yourself, where is this coming from? And if you've trained your heart to be true, train your mind to be true, then it's much more likely that the insights you gain in the meditation will be true as well.